Hi, Cecilia Elisvallin here again. In the previous video I talked about the model for writing a persuasive speech I just have made. So I have um, been very interested in the model, the hero's journey, which is used for writing and analyzing stories and mythology. And uh, based on the hero's journey model, I have made a new model, which we can use for writing persuasive speeches. I have seen a similar pattern to the hero's journey in many political speeches and uh, in marketing in commercials. So I have just composed this brand new model which I hope we can use to write persuasive speeches. I know, I don't hope, I know that this is useful for writing great persuasive speeches. I presented this model in the previous video and I promised you to talk about the template I have made, um, the PowerPoint template I have made for you, which you can use if you first want to write a great persuasive speech. So I will show you that template now. Let's see. Yeah, so you can use this template for writing marketing presentations. You can use it for writing motivational and inspirational speeches. And you can, of course, use it for writing political speeches as well. So let's see here um, what um, what you will do is if you decide to use this template you can just replace my instructions with your own persuasive text. And uh, yeah, the title, I suggest that you don't write the title first. Um, uh, you can write the title when you have started writing your speech. Uh, the title is so important. So yeah, uh, write and rewrite your title till you have a really enticing and uh, search engine optimized title. All right, so step number one in my model, it's here you make your listener feel like a hero and it's here you show the listener that uh, you understand her or his problem. Step number one, make the listener feel like a hero. Show that you understand the listener's problem. And step number two, here you entice the listener to want to solve the problem. And step number three, here you show that you are a really good advisor, that uh, the listener can um, have confidence in you. Number four, here you describe possible solutions that do not work. If you are writing a political election speech, you can write why the other party solutions aren't working. If you are selling a product, write why your competitor's products aren't working well. If you are persuading your listener to improve something, explain why the listener's own attempts to solve the problem haven't worked. Number five. Here you create fear and excitement by describing how bad it will be if the listener does not choose to solve the problem in the way you suggest. So here you build up the tension, you build up the excitement, the tension and the fear. And number six, this is the turning point point, the most exciting part of the story and also the most interesting and exciting part of a persuasive speech because it is here you make your audience decide to vote for you or to buy your product or to change something in their life to realize that they want really to improve something in their lives. Number seven, describe the reward. Here you will show how good the audience's lives will be when they have voted for you or bought your product or implemented the improvement. Number eight, describe the happy fulfilling lives your audience will get when they have made you president, bought your product or followed your advice. Number nine, here you emphasize the responsibility of the listener. You remember, in the beginning you made your listener feel like a hero. And heroes, they have responsibilities uh, in stories and in real life. So, uh, yeah, you remind your listener of their responsibilities. And don't use this uh, method in a manipulative way. 
uh, the audience will probably detect and they will lose trust in you if you're trying to manipulate them. And even worse, if you manage to manipulate them, of course, don't do that. Yeah, so here you can also show how fantastic the listener's life will be when she or he has voted for you or bought your product or implemented the improvement. Number 10. Here you can continue to show how fantastic the listener's life will be when he or she has voted for you, bought your product or implemented the improvement. Number 11. Summarize what the listener has learned from listening to your speech. And here you also emphasize the most important points in your persuasive speech. Uh, yeah, and here we have the model again. And if you are giving a long speech, then you can go through all these steps several times. We often see this in political speeches, so like a clock you can go through these steps several times to really emphasize your message. Yeah, that was all. So I hope you got something out from watching these two videos. Uh, this is part two. So if you haven't watched part one yet, I will link to part one in the top right corner of this video. In part one, I'm talking about this model and um, I'm um, giving some examples on how you can use this model. So yeah, that I think that was all.